don't you? Then that would have been unfair to shoot me. I try not to kill everyone. The spirit I of the warrior will always be with you. Don't be sad. We'll meet again someday. Snake, are you all right? No, it was a close call. Stuff. What the hell happened to me? You were halfway drowned at the bottom of the river. Almost crossed over to the other side. Other side? So that really was. Something on your mind, Snake? Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yeah, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the Bok. What kind of man was he? The Sorrow was a man with, well, special powers. He had ESP, which was a subject of extensive research in the Soviet Union at the time. He was especially gifted as a medium. A medium? Someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. In other words, he could talk to ghosts. They say he could find out what was going on in a battle by talking to dead soldiers. What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? I don't know the details. Why don't we ask Sigurd? Yo! I finished checking up on this Sorrow guy a while ago. Thought you guys already knew, though. Knew what? That he's dead. He's been dead for two years now. Died two years ago? At Salino Yarsk. You know, those cliffs you were at. And the boss is the one who did him in. The boss? Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Salino Yarsk. That's when she met the Sorrow, who'd gone back to the Soviet Union after the Cobras broke up at the end of the war. Except this time, they were enemies. And then what? The boss killed the Sorrow herself and accomplished her mission. At least, that's what the records say. So, he was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. You okay, Snake? Yeah, I'm fine. It looks like it's not time for me to die yet. I sure hope not. Otherwise, the whole mission is shot. We're counting on you, pal. Roger that. Eva? Snake, you didn't call. I was worried. Are you all right? Yeah. I took a pretty freaky detour. What are you talking about? Nothing. Forget it. Let's just say I'm back. Good. But how did you escape from the sewers? I jumped into the river. From all the way up there? You're out of control. Yeah. I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great. That's perfect. What do you mean, that's perfect? I mean, if you ended up in the river, then I know a good spot nearby. Let's meet up there. Where is it? Keep going upstream until you get to a waterfall. Okay, I don't care. You're not telling me anything. I will see you in a few fucking seconds. <laughs> and that's how the phone call went. In reality. Yeah. <laughs>
Right, now that's like the least. Nice to meet you, Snake. I'm Tatiana. Here's your equipment. Uh, you could use a towel. So could you. No thanks. Yes, you do. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, you don't do like too. snakes. Not for dinner. Yeah. Whoa. Mm. Didn't you have to eat them at the KGB? In my training, we always got the good stuff French, Italian, that kind of thing. A regular Matahari. The least you could do is call me Cynthia. Tell me something. How does it feel to spy on your own country? I can't say it feels good, but it's my job. Now, now you look can't even here. eat a snake during a mission, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Uh, you also good. noticed. Oh no. And fan service. Oh. <laughs> when this mission's over, you'll oh. have to treat me to a nice dinner. What do you want to eat? Let's see. How about sushi? Sushi. It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. Supposedly, it's made from raw fish. Raw fish? Just the place for my survival delicious. techniques. <laughs> oh my god, it's delicious. I love sushi. Right, in fact, I think I'm going to go get me some. Mm -hmm. when I go Thank you, Snake. What well, the game ain't over, bitch. I'll be your eyes from now on. No, you won't. What if you get shot or something? Then what? <laughs> I can't see what you're doing. I don't trust you. <laughs> you're on that side of my face. Are you all right? It's not like I can't see. I've got one good eye and can still fire a gun. Really? Good. <laughs> I don't need your sympathy. I'm badass. <laughs> Six, six, no Eva, didn't you steal some explosives out of the fortress? C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. 
It can be molded into any shape, like clay. With just this much, you could blow up the Shagohat and the lab along with it. Is that right? Yeah, but there's a trick to using it. Tell me about it. Well, what do you think? The Shagohod's booster unit uses liquid fuel. The fuel tanks are in the main wing of the weapons lab in the hangar housing the Shagohod itself. So I should blow up the tank. <laughs> That's the basic no. idea. It should be enough that to blow up the I entire quit. hangar. I'm like, nope, too real. There are four fuel tanks. In order to destroy the hangar, you'll have to set explosives on each of those tanks. All four of them? It should be no sweat for you. Besides, the scientists have the day off today. So the hangar's completely deserted. Not quite. They've still got guards posted there. So what do I do after I set the C3? The bombs run off a timer. Once the timer has been set, the countdown will begin. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs will all go off at once. How long do I have? 20 minutes. Once the Phase 2 trials are finished, I wouldn't be surprised if they kill all the scientists to prevent them from talking. So you've got to act fast. I'll take care of it. Eva, did you get the data on the Shagohod from Sokolov? Yeah, that's the mission I was given. By Khrushchev? Mm-hmm. America doesn't have any use for it, does it? Huh. But I haven't forgotten my other mission, either. Helping you out. You can still see her head being cut off of her neck. Follow this cave and go up the ladder at the end. You'll come out inside Groznygrad, just southwest of the weapons lab. How ironic. I was there, like, a little while ago, and stuff. Do you remember when you went to rescue Sokolov? Yeah. Remember there was a locked door when you entered the main wing from the second floor of the east wing? Yeah. That's the entrance to the Shagohod's hangar. Use this key to open that door. The door right when I entered the main wing? Got it. What about you? I'll get things ready for our escape. There's a rail bridge to the north. I'm gonna set a bomb there, so I'm taking half of the C3 with me. Right. I'll set off the weapons lab then. Try not to be in the neighborhood when it happens. Gotcha. And watch out for Ocelot. He suspects you're not who you say you are. Don't worry. The Colonel still trusts me. And I have my ways. There's not a man alive who can use his charms. Uh, Besides you, of course. I'm just That's warning you, right. Eva. That's yeah, all. I know. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you seem like you were born on one of those. <laughs> if I didn't ride every day, I couldn't go on living. Huh? When I'm riding, the wind hits me so hard that it hurts. That pain keeps my mind off the pain oh, of having to do something else. Oh, fragile ass. <laughs> it's not easy always feeling myself like this. It's only when I'm on the bike that I'm free to be the real me. I only get off my bike when I fall in love or fall dead. What's your name? Tatiana. No. Your real name. <laughs> What's wrong with Tanya? Uh, okay, Tanya. Don't let anyone see you. Huh? Oh, this? It's a button camera. What did you do that for? Insurance. To make sure you don't double cross me. Just 
surging through my veins. Oh, shit. All right, so we're in the final steps of this game, so for now. assessment at probably in the credits for the next uh, go around. So we will see you guys then. Take care.